All right, I think we are live now, um, much better than the first time. We are going to be exploring Titanic even more and preferably um, more in depth. Um, this time we're going to be looking at Titanic's bow section where um, the crew members were working and where most of the first class um, staterooms and all that stuff were located as well. And yeah, so pretty much kind of just, um, if you guys were here for the first stream, the first stream we did Titanic and we worked on, well not worked, we, um, we streamed 25% of Titanic and it worked out, it worked out pretty well. Um, yeah, welcome Mike and Nike, welcome Scott. All right, Scott, uh, Copper. And then we got, okay, so it's just Copper and Scott right now, or Micah, Nike. Um, by the way, Micah Nike is streaming tonight, so make sure you guys check that out. He is launching his website, so be ready for that. Anyways, let's continue. This is 50% of Titanic, 50. So this is the biggest update that Titanic Honor and Glory has ever done. And I will be using majority of Titanic Honor and Glory blueprints and Titanic stuff that they have created in my um, Titanic that I am building. If you guys notice behind me right now, there's no city. Yeah, the city has been taken down now. Um, I actually just took that thing down today. Um, but yeah, that's completely down, ready for that to go up. But there is so many, so many sections that I could start exploring. So we have first class, the baths, second class, third class, officers only, crew area forward, post office and baggage, and boiler rooms. So obviously, because this video, this live stream is dedicated towards just the front end of Titanic, I thought I would bring that into action. So with that, the only place to start physically would be, well, the Turkish Bash and the pool. Guys, this is going to be a very insane and amazing place to visit because as you can see right here, this is Titanic. And you guys are gonna, I'm, I love this. Um, I could go into the storage room over here We'll go into that in a second. So basically, I love giving history off and I love talking about Titanic like we did last time. You guys seem to enjoy that. And we're just gonna carry that on. So Titanic had two watertight doors here. This was a mechanism. I just buffed that word out really bad, but this is a watertight door. So basically the tension matter, the, the way that they wanted it to be designed was if four Titanic compartments flooded with water, Titanic would still be fine. Unfortunately, the issue, Titanic had five and it sunk her. But these were one of the first ones to um, be flooded. And so they thought that these doors would hold the water out. And they did until it went above the ceiling up here and then went over and into the next one. And also Scotland Road so if you took this door out and you would go up the stairs one and you'd go over to your right, a little complicated, I will show you guys soon. Basically, there would be this long passageway. There's no stopping water there. Once water gets onto that deck, there is a entire length of Titanic where it can just go all the way across and flood all of those rooms. That was main Titanic weakness. It had nothing stopping it once it got past that. Anyway. Enough of me talking. Let's go in here first, start this off. Um, in my last stream, I did show you Turkish Bash, but that way, in that stream, we came through this way. And while I love this, it's much better to do it this way. Um, I keep hearing Micah's website, I'm just curious, for the records owner had found the wrong. Yep, so basically, yeah, I screwed up a lot of things and we couldn't figure out how to do it. This one seems to be going a lot better. 
So, as I mentioned, this would be a place for people to come back and kind of relax. It was um, for first class passengers, and what they would do is they would just lay down here. It's kind of like massaging and all that stuff today, if you want to say on that standards. But over here is Titanic's wash bath and guys there's no information links too so this is all in my knowledge now and i can definitely help with that i love love spouting out knowledge so basically someone would get into this and it's a machine and it's i don't know how to describe this is it's like a very interesting machine it it's like a massage like i don't know like it, it washes you at the same time i don't know it's really hard to describe this one this is a it's a super complicated machine and i don't know if i want to get into this thing either um it's pretty sketchy um but yeah you would use that uh if you were in first class you could use it it's kind of like it would help you out when you were getting ready to go into the turkish bath basically which this is one of the most fanciest room in Titanic um, as you can tell already the tile work the wood work and just everything but anyways that's what this room is and I don't know if I trust the machine in itself in a way these would be shower rooms or rooms that people can use to shower of course before you get into the pool which is obviously an important thing back then and still is today if you guys notice that when you go to a pool you're gonna be running into shower rooms before you even get into there Ooh, can we get a rated r turkish and <laughs> um no we'll pass on that one um so yeah basically that's what this was and something that was interesting is they have these giant pillars that ran through here it's a support column that would help titanic you know but they were heavy they were very very heavy and these bathrooms were really clean for their shape um different totally different um so you just close the curtain basically and it's not like a, a shower we have today where you have glass and stuff around it it was just this wire mechanism and the water would basically run up to here and then run up here and come down on you but also you could turn the water on and off and it's weird because the water runs through this wire here and then up into here it's not like today where the water runs in through the wall and then up to the actual like curtain thing and this is probably a one of those things where it's like who cares but it's it's titanic history and it's it's weird i don't know this is what they did back then um this would be like a bench to change and do all the stuff you need um but yeah and then like a little hand washing thing so they had two of these one for the guys one for the ladies of course um, and then we'd go into this one. So this is like the Turkish bath moving on. So there's more to this. Um, this room is more, um, it's, it's kind of like an extended part of the Turkish bath, but this is more fancier in a way. If you guys, um, can't tell it's more simple, but fancier at the same time, because the tile work runs up a little bit more around the baseboards. But this is more for the exclusive passengers. This is more, um, this is for more of the rich people, if you want to say it that way. Um, it kind of rang down here. Um, they had actual private rooms for some of these too. So if you just wanted to be, you know, be alone, you guys could technically be alone in this, which is weird because you wouldn't think that'd be a thing. Um, you could just sit down on these benches. It's literally dark here, like really dark. Um, because they only had one light in this. And the obtention was just kind of for you to go, I don't know, just to enjoy down here. I don't really know what the purpose of this room was here other than for you to sit down, um, maybe to change too, I don't know. And there's a little closet kind of around here too, I believe. Yeah, right here, that's where it was. Um, but yeah, and then, oh wait, no, this is, um, now this is like, okay, so the Turkish baths are like basically a place where you guys would come in. Uh, what's the word? I can't think of what the word is. Um, someone will probably say it in the chat. But yeah, you basically just come here and enjoy yourself from here. Um, yeah, that's basically what these were. This is probably the biggest part of it because 
you have a wooden door here, so it's going to obtain more of that. It's going to last longer. Basically, that's what the Turkish baths are. Um, I said this last stream, this is going to be the hardest room in Titanic to make. If there's going to be any room that's going to be harder than this to make, I honestly cannot think of it. Other than maybe... I could see maybe the boiler rooms being a difficult thing and the engine rooms, but I feel like this might be the hardest only because look at all the tile work here. And I have mentioned that I might make this, um, I might make this to be where it, what's it called, where I use tile and it's going to be bigger than minifigure scale to kind of make these rooms feel more special because they do, these, these rooms are the early stages of Titanic sinking. Um, torture chain, <laughs> meg, torture mega, I can't say it. Man, Mike has got me really moving there. Um, then they use bath water run to the chick or the kitchen and they use it to make soup. <laughs> I would not want to drink soup from that. <laughs> we can question that. Um, no, but this is again, one of the most fanciest rooms in Titanic you are not pretty much going to get any fancier than this room it it is the best it's one of my favorite too because it's super well detailed now it's probably what you're thinking here because there's the turkish baths and you have the pool rooms and stuff obviously clearly that means the pool which you probably can see right down the hallway so we get through here this is the turkish baths again and this is shelving this is um uh, what's it called kind of closets for lockers you get to put your stuff in there and um, go from there um, what Titanic would do is they would break these down into sections so certain classes could go at certain times and it'd be for the ladies and then the guys um, and that's how they would break it up over here we have another closet kind of storage thing um, a fire hose because who knows what could happen on Titanic um, Guys, I know what you guys are thinking. Titanic was definitely not unsinkable and all that. But up, up to her time, she was the unsinkable ship. Because she had all of these safety standards. She had more watertight um, compartment doors than any other ship of her time. Which was thought to protect her from anything. They didn't ever think that four or five, almost six compartments of Titanic were ever going to be opened up. They never thought of that. It's just because nothing like that has really happened at her time. So her having the the fire um, safety amount and stuff that she had and the announcement, the speakers and um, all of that that run through the entire ship of Titanic was believed that she wouldn't have an issue during her time in the voyage. And these doors were powerful. These doors wouldn't take long. It would be less than a minute to shut, which in most cases, a minute is fairly fast when it comes to, okay, we have an emergency. We need to get these doors shut. And it worked out in Titanic's favor. The iceberg was 40 seconds from when they spotted the iceberg, it was 40 seconds from the ship. So it only took 40 seconds from Titanic to hit the iceberg dead on or on the side so basically these doors would have closed within a minute and some of them close faster like these ones these close faster than the um, ones in the boiler rooms with that went down so these ones were better uh, and now let's get to the pool guys one of the only ships that Titanic or Titanic was one of the only ships that had a pool in her day this is probably one of the coolest pools I've ever seen it, it, it's fantastic. I love it. Um, everyone would get a free towel technically when they came in here. Um, I believe um, that you get to use those towels when you want. Um, and then over here, there was more of these locker rooms, changing rooms that anyone could use. Again, guys, ladies were separate, so nothing really going on there. Um, another shower room here. And Honestly, I just don't understand what this metal thing around here, other than like block you, I guess. Um, I never understood that, but that's basically, it's there. But the pool, um, it's cool. It's like really cool. 
Um, I love it. it. It's used with simple tile work and it's not super fancy, but again, it's the only pool and it was also heated. So on the bottom, they use like a heating mechanism. Um, mechanism, can't say it pronouncedly, right? But they use some piping that would heat the underwater floor. Um, but I believe these attachments here would also kind of run through Titanic and would heat this. This isn't like a pool we have these days, because even indoor pools have them, where um, the water would constantly be going into the drain and then out. Titanic would have to refill, I believe, or these would have to be refilled, but it could still drain down here in this pipe right here, kind of reading right there. I don't know if you guys can see that little bronze thing there, but yes, it can still drain. And I believe, could be wrong, I think there's one more over on this side too. No, I guess it only had one. Oh, wait, no, it had two right here. Here's the other one. Um, so yeah, that would drain Titanic, but this would be a freshwater pool as well. So it wasn't, I don't think it was salt water. So um, it definitely had a difference in Titanic, which was really cool for being heated and fresh water, I believe. And also salt water has its issues again, because salt water clogs up a lot of things when it comes to pools and stuff. Um, I know they cleaned it really well because it, they use a lot of cleaning supplies in this stuff, but the main issue of this whole entire section of Titanic, this is the forgotten section in Titanic. And you guys would be like, okay, the forgotten side. This is by no means the forgotten part where, okay, no one in the ship, no, or like anyone that talks about Titanic, they know about these rooms, but these rooms will probably never be seen ever. Um, the pool, we can't even get to the today. Today, the pool is completely blocked off. There's no way to get to it. We know where the pool is located because obviously right here we see windows. So all we'd have to do is get through one of these portholes and we'd be able to see the pool. But there's no other way to get to the Titanic's pool because it's also super far down. Um, the pool is so far down under the sea, like the ship, it's like one of the last decks that people can go to. It's on F deck. So. While we were able to get to this room, people have actually explored the Turkish baths because there's a watertight door. There's a watertight door here that was supposed to block water for Titanic. It's closed. There's no way for us to see the pool. It's just what has happened. So Titanic's pool is never probably going to be seen too because Titanic is also dear, um, being eaten by uh, micro um, eater things um, and basically it eats metal and wood and all that so Titanic's pool will never be seen the only thing that they don't eat is tile work as far as I know and um, that's it but I know they eat metal and they eat wood so legit all of this is being eaten alive by them and it's just a room you'll never see in your life ever again it's it's hidden so far yeah, Titanic's room is definitely still full. Um, I think it's a little bit too full there, um, copper, maybe, I would think. Um, as you guys can probably see, it can also hit six feet of water. So um, they would, basically they would fill it up to six feet. Four to six feet would be the limit. Um, six feet, as you can probably see right now, is pretty high up here, but a six feet pool, and today's standards is actually probably really big because most pools now only have four or five if you go to an indoor like swimming park or something like that or pool which is kind of pathetic <laughs> titanic at least had six feet which most people below most people in the 19th century were only uh or the 20th century were only like five eight i believe was the highest height for men so that was higher than the actual um height of people which is cool because this thing is deeper than I am in real life which is really cool as well imagine eating metal yeah makes me feel better about eating Lego I know doesn't it you got to eat Lego anyways this again is probably one of my favorite parts in Titanic it's just it's so beautiful this room alone is 
one of the most beautiful parts of Titanic. And we'll, it's also just one of the ones, one of the rooms that people don't talk about a lot because it's so far in Titanic that to get to that room, it took a lot. And the, the submarines that went down, they had to use special, special equipment because if they hit anything, Titanic super weak. It could it could mess everything up. So back here is the line in storage. So basically this is more storage carrying on. And I know what you guys are probably thinking. It's probably um, definitely not the most impressive thing to be looking at. But um, Titanic needed a lot of storage. People needed to put things places and Titanic was full of storage areas. Um, it had a bunch of cargo. Um, this is more the cargo room kind of carrying on. I believe this is just a lot of mail bags and stuff. Um, but this is also passenger stuff too, because this is one of the grandest ships of her day. And there'll be more of that right here too. Um, these rooms didn't have to be lit because no one really came down here in these sections. Um, it wasn't, oh, I'm going on Titanic. I'm gonna go to the line in storage. There's nothing really down here other than storage that passengers had um, more than enough room here. And this was mainly just a bunch of storage and stuff that they would put down here to keep cool and all that. Here's more of that continuing on. Um, this one is a little bit more lit up, but not too much. And now you'd run into here. These are circuit breakers again. Titanic circuit breakers aren't like today's. I mentioned that last time, the circuit breakers that Titanic had. Um, so if you think about a circuit breaker today, a circuit breaker is black, most of them are at least. Um, and they would have switches on the actual circuit breaker. Well, Titanic was different. All these white ones that you see right here, the two, four, seven of them, and the seven down here, well, they didn't have any switches. The switches were right in the middle and that was the fuses and all that too. So they were built out a lot different than what we have today. I can't go any farther this way, but there is a stairs and look, Titanic blueprints. And in this case, we're not here. We are down um, on this third, fourth one right here. Titanic had nine decks, so it had a deck or wait, you have boat deck, A deck, B deck, C deck, E deck, F deck, G deck, an H deck, and then I don't think it had an I. I think they had one more deck on top. So um, H deck, I believe was the last one. Yeah, I think H deck was the last one and that was for the engine rooms and boiler rooms. So Scotland Road is behind here. I'm not gonna explore that yet because there's more things that we could be exploring in the meantime here. So we'll move here. And all these doors had hatches too, so they could keep these doors open pretty easily. Um, I don't think I can go through here. Let's get back into the pool. Um, yeah, these doors that you see right here, I can't go through. Um, this is 50% of Titanic again, so definitely a lot. <laughs> People were shorter back then. Feels good to be tall. Yeah, no one wants to eat copper, so <laughs> too nice to eat. <laughs> Sweet and salty. All right, and then behind here is the main staircase. This is a nice cool room too. Um, we'll explore this room in a different stream, I believe. Not really designed to stream this one for this, just because it's all the way on the top of the boat deck. This is Titanic's gym, if you didn't know that. Um, one of Titanic's best areas that people like. Definitely a lot different if you were to go to the gym now. None of this stuff really is, exists anymore. Because gyms didn't, gyms weren't even existed back then pretty much. So this was the early stages of gyms being built. Just copper and mica night gear. And this is definitely a very interesting stream. They have a small punching bag thing. 
yeah, again, like I said, this this is Titanic. It's one of the only ships that actually had a gym of her day still. And it is very old-fashioned. It's one of the early stages of gyms. They didn't really have anything that really stated. Like, if you guys thought of, like, standing on an uh, actual scale to measure your weight, no, you would sit on an actual um, device or a uh, machine, and it would tell you your weight once you sat on it. It's so weird. It's nothing like we have today. And by the way, if you guys are wondering, it does take a while to go in between each sections because this game is super big and takes a lot of uh, files and all that in order to properly run the game. Um, you also can download the game, uh, the description. So definitely recommend doing that. As for... All right, looks like we're in here. So, ready mentioned, this is the first class area. Um, can't go through this door either. This is F deck. Um, yep, yeah, and right here, this is what we'll tell you. Ladies were of um, were available from one to or, um, from ten to one, and gentlemen from two to five. The gentlemen would get more because there was more guys on board than ladies. Um, definitely, just you know, a different thing. Um, gentlemen would go from 6 to 9 a.m. and ladies from 10 to 11. Again, there was more guys on this ship than there was ladies. So that's just um, something that was like that. Respectively, during the day of or at the same hours of the Turkish bath too. And it was free of charge too for that. Those were free. And that is something that's just exclusively different than any other thing. Because when you guys think about going on a cruise ship or anything like that, you would have to pay. You have to pay more for things. All over the ship, anything you did, do these days, you have to pay. So the fact that Titanic gave free options for everything, pretty much, was amazing. Um, we could last time go into these rooms, technically. Um, not anymore. Next time I weigh myself, I should sit... sit um, crisscross applesauce. Yeah. Um, it was an interesting machine, I'll tell you that. Oh, wait. Going the wrong way, guys. And the flooring is also... Guys, you would think this is the cheapest flooring ever. This is some of the most expensive parts of Titanic. The flooring itself um, was the early stages of oh, um, laminate. Oh, laminate. Um, they didn't have that back then. It, was, it, it wasn't a thing, really, other than fancy people. So this costed millions of dollars to do. Millions of dollars. Um, technically, to actually even put this in, that would be today's money. Back then, it was a lot cheaper. Um, circuit breakers, I already told you guys about that. Um, this is one of Titanic's first decks that you'd be able to get to. What's up, temporary name? Um, these rooms can't go into either. Um, when I mean 50% of Titanic is unlocked, 50% of Titanic's rooms that are important are unlocked, pretty much. So all the important rooms, all the most basic rooms that you guys can think of Titanic are unlocked. And guess what? I can even go farther up Titanic compared to last time, including the Grand Staircase. Um, the elevators are here, and the elevator is working on B-Deck. So I could technically use an elevator if I really wanted to. But... That's how we end B deck. I don't really going forward. Okay, we're going forward up here. This is head forward. This is a cool part of Titanic, actually. Um, you'll see why. That's one of them. We'll be going down there in a second. By a second, I mean now. All right, so if I wanted to, I could technically go up here. This is in our extension ladder. So this, we're now on um, E deck, but we're gonna go back down because again, we're exploring the lower decks because we are gonna be creating the lower decks. So the lower decks are gonna be created before the upper decks. Um, nothing's over here, just a, another hallway. And Titanic, you could get lost in this ship technically. <laughs> They have all these mazes. Like, if you wanted to play hide and go seek, this would be the best ship to play hide and go seek on. 
<laughs> because like random hallways like this it's just weird people say that third class got trapped down in um these sections third class never got trapped um it just wasn't a thing so don't listen to what they say they weren't really trapped um they had some trouble with some of this stuff but they never were trapped the people did free them Again, it was trouble at first class, um, at a first pace thing. I will visit this room in a second because right around that corner, that room that you, I just showed you guys is, I would say my favorite room in Titanic. And I wanna talk about that one later. This one is the thumbnail of today's video. Um, obviously it's the post office and Titanic had a huge post office because in its name, RMS, Titanic, Royal Mail Ship. So it was a Royal British Mail Ship. It would carry on over here. Nothing over here, just wanna let you guys know on that. Um, yeah, nothing super big over on this side. The post office would continue to go down, of course. The post office was one of the earliest rooms to flood because right below it is the cargo room. And actually you're gonna run into some cargo rooms in a second. Um, this is a lot of cargo already. And this is why it flooded first because there's only one more floor under this. One more floor and you guys are gonna be at the bottom floor technically. Um, so this would be the reason why a Titanic would flood so fast or this section would. Um, and I can continue to go down here. Actually, with this, this is the second last floor. That one's the third. So this is, this is the earliest room to flood in Titanic. Um, think of Titanic sinking 10 minutes. Once 10 minutes were flooding, this was flooding too. Hello, Mike and Nike. Yeah, the growth has been insane over the last couple months. Yeah, the insane amount of stuff you have there, Micah. I agree on that. Do you want to say how tall you are now, Micah? I can understand if you... Oh. Copper deleted it. Anyway, so yeah, this is one of the earliest rooms to sink in Titanic to flood. And mind you, this was entirely fine. This room right here, um, when it was flooding, they didn't think it was gonna flood this much. Um, they honestly didn't. This room right here is probably one of the only rooms that was thought that, okay, if it flooded, there was nothing wrong with Titanic. Because it was true. If this room flooded, it had no value other than what the people had in here. Um, and guys, would you rather choose your own cargo, your own equipment the only things that you brought from Britain or would you rather choose yourself to live I would choose to be able to live because you can always get this stuff back you always can get new things um, Titanic was supposed to be the ship that would carry people across the entire oceans um, the issue is people were um, this was a time where people wanted to go to America so everyone was moving oops to America and well this would be all their cargo um, that flooded right away but again like I said I'd rather live than you know die and not have anything at all so when Titanic was sinking this was a room that no one thought oh we're okay so again this is more extended to it let's actually show you the post office now here's the post office the largest room in tight not <laughs> the largest room definitely not the largest room um, one of the largest on any ship um, it carried so much mail this was beyond mail like, there's mail on here on there guys the mail room was so important to Titanic, they actually had crew members that would work in the actual mail room. So people would work in these rooms and work 
and work and work and wouldn't stop working, you know, there would always be someone in this room working hard to keep. Because as you can see, this is enough mail to probably deliver a town of 3,000 people their mail in a day, um, if not more. This was also one of the only rooms that when Titanic was sinking, they were carrying these bags. And if you guys can't see, these bags are heavy, very heavy, when you have a lot of mail in it, of course. They were carrying, they legit were carrying these mail things all the way upstairs. They were like, okay, we cannot let this stuff get wet. So they were throwing every single thing, every mail letter that they can get into these bags and getting these things upstairs because down here it was flooding already um water was just pouring in over here and they had to get they had no time they just had to shove them all in there and get them up the stairs as fast as possible no there was nothing that they could do about that people would have been extremely mad that their luggage was damaged but at least they would have survived yeah i mean i would B2. And White Star Line would have provided money back for that stuff too. It's Yeah, they would have done that. This is more mail. Guys, like I said, Titanic had so much mail, it was ridiculous. They even had an elevator sort of thing to put mail in here and lift it up there or drop from mail from down there to down here. Legit. It's insane. Those bags are probably a good 30 pounds, it looks like. Yeah, they they were heavy. And when you had a mini bags, um, that's what they do. So when Titanic was sinking, this right here was a crucial factor. They would load these mail bags in here. They would get it up to the next floor and then start carrying it right away. They needed to get it out of there and up the stairs because Titanic was one of those ships where the mail mattered. This is where Titanic was making a lot of money because they would deliver mail from one side of the ocean to the other side. So when people needed a letter and their family lived in Britain and the other family lived in America, the only way to get it place to place would be ship because airplanes weren't made yet. So if this is an important thing that played a vital role. They would get mail from here up as fast as possible during the sinking. Um, yeah, plain and simple. There was nothing else that could have been done and like i said if you thought that the upstairs had a lot of mail it pretty much just continued and didn't stop <laughs> and yeah this is insane this is a lot of mail totally was not joking about that hope you guys know um so yeah here is again the post office and again they would have dedicated crew members that would be working on this stuff constantly. And on Sea Deck, they also would have passengers would write letters and that would go up to the wireless room and then they would send it out to pass or across the ocean and stuff. But let's get on to my favorite room in Titanic. Again, this is my one of my favorite rooms. Um, it's not that one by the way. It wait. Not see look, this is what I mean. I'm getting lost now. I can't even figure out where I'm going. No, um, no, it's definitely not that way. I think I lost myself when Titanic already, guys. <laughs> no, wait, how do I get out of here? I know it's one of these rooms. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> and getting myself lost in Titanic already. Whew. Doing a good job at it, guys. Yeah, it, it was tons of mail beyond it was crazy i'm surprised they actually showed the gym because normally they saw a different part of titanic so the fact that they showed the gym twice is kind of interesting obviously the gym i guess is very important to titanic that means go out and work out stay fit and buy some mica nike workout clones tonight too if you can they maybe they, they need to stay fit too. You know, it's important for them to stay fit. <laughs> like I said, yeah, when ships are <laughs> Yeah, like I said, you can get lost in this ship pretty fast. 
It's just because I thought that that door was uh, locked. So the fact that I thought that the door was locked, I couldn't think of getting out of there. <laughs> Or, or, you know, better yet, you know, buy any clone minifigure and uh, make sure that you throw it into this set here and we'll do some workout clones here. We'll, we don't need to have workout clones. We can just make them. Thankfully, bags are less than a dollar. Otherwise, your wallet would have been a dent in the side of the iceberg. <laughs> um, yeah. I buy workout clones for inspiration to work out. See, look, okay, Micah, that's exactly what he does. I can tell you. All right, guys, we're going to my favorite room in Titanic. Let's see. Who can guess what this room is? How many... Let's see if anyone can guess what this room in Titanic is that I'm talking about. It's a cool room, I'll say that. Um, it's probably one of those rooms that people don't realize Titanic, Titanic even had. Um, it was to provide more fun for Titanic as well. Um, yeah, it's definitely a fun room in Titanic. And it was pretty easy to get to as well. It wasn't super far in the ship or super far down. If you're talking about Ziploc bags, you're right, temporary name, I would be broke. Hey, well, welcome there, Bricktastical Lego Ideas. Um, okay. Temporary names thought this was a kitchen. Well, if you are going to have fun in the kitchen, I'd like to know what room you were in. Because I don't know if I want to have fun in the kitchen in Titanic. Titanic standards is not really the fun, st fun thing Titanic about. Are you going to return to a full-length videos? Yep, I'll be doing full-length videos very short not shortly, soon, um, and go from there. All right, does this help you guys out a little bit? Come on. Obviously, this just spoiled the whole entire thing. Those, <laughs> uh, there are these brown Lego bags, which can be used inside of Titanic as mail bags, <laughs> five to 30 cents each. Okay, sorry I'm late zoner, I was finishing up my next video for tomorrow. Yep, totally fine. Um, um, Ricktastic, uh, Lego Ideas. This is what I'm building first when I start Titanic. Um, so when I start Titanic up, this will be one of the first, um, these will be some of the first actual things that I'll be building. <laughs> Must be jail. No, this isn't jail. Um, the jail was actually located somewhere else in Titanic. Um, no, this is Titanic's gym. So you would put your stuff here and another blueprint of um, Titanic you would see storage for basketball and um, tennis and all that but yeah this is Titanic's gym it is super simple but it was used a fairly good amount um, I love this room because it it is still one of the only rooms in Titanic one of the only rooms in Titanic that look almost exactly like you were going to a gym, apart from the floor. But the floor still has lines and all that, it's just a different color. But yeah, if you were to go to this, it'd be almost like you were going to a gym. Because up there, the fence rack that's there is for people to observe what's going on. And if you go to like the YMCA or something like that, and you were to look down, there'd be a running path and you'd get to see all the people playing basketball or tennis or pickleball and all that stuff. And so basically, Titanic used that up there for people to watch and all that. Of course, they didn't have really basketball in this, but they played a lot of tennis and racquetball and all that down here. School, the jailhouse symptoms. <laughs> I know the final result is going to be a masterpiece. Yes, guys, this is going to be one of the best buildings that were... Yeah, we can count this as a building. One of the best things that I've ever built. Um, clearly, unfortunately, like I stated with the post office, this right here would have been one of Titanic's first rooms to also flood. So due to its location and how far down 
the gym and or not gym, but the um the court was. It's called a squash court. Um, it was so far down that it sank the fastest. Um, it would flood the fastest. And if anything, this is probably one of the coolest rooms in Titanic because there was just so much stuff you can do down here. What also didn't help is they had these little heater, or, um, like heating mechanisms and piping stuff that ran through those little holes there and that would bring water in. So when this was sinking, it was flooding fast. The boat, masterpiece, the water, a blue basket, a base plate, because Zona ran out of money. Yeah, guys, this is gonna be insane. Gotta go prep for my stream. Have a great rest of your stream, Zona. Or, yeah, Zona. Um, yeah, have a good one. Uh, again, Mike is streaming right after me, but we, um, you guys can go over to Mike and Nike after we're done with this stream. Um, also, if you haven't, consider subscribing to the channel and liking this live stream. Let's get this live stream up. Um, because I am building the actual Titanic and Lego, if you guys do not know about that, I am. So, again, as I stated, one of my favorite rooms, and also what's really cool about this room, is the light. You would think for Titanic that the lights would be on the actual ceiling, not all the way on the sides. It's interesting. And the lights were actually protected too. So if someone hit a ball at them, it wasn't going to crack or break a light either. Because, gee, I don't know if I want to have to get a crew member down here to actually fix the light because you broke the light. So they put a like a, a wired met, uh, net thing around the lights to protect them. And in the middle was also a main weakness because this brought a lot of air into Titanic to cool this room down. And um, that didn't work out real well in the sinking because once water got up to there, it would fall down. It would just sink it really fast. Yeah, it's crazy. Again, definitely one of my favorite ships in er, parts in Titanic because it still is almost like today. It has almost the same design, the same layout as today's gyms. It's just in a super small standstill. And for this, it's big. On a ship, this is big. But apart from a ship, um, if you were to go to a on like an actual gym, this is pretty small. But this is bigger than the pool, like twice the size of the pool. So we can't argue with that, obviously. Enough talking about the squash court, even though I could talk about it for days because it is probably one of my favorite parts about Titanic. Let's get out of here. And, guys, I want to say this right now. When Titanic, on April 14th and 15th, Titanic sinks, I will be doing a stream that um, kind of honors Titanic. It will be a sinking, uh, a sinking stream. So we'll like play this through again, but I'll show you exactly what rooms were flooding first We'll go more into depth on that. I hopefully will have a Titanic in the background starting to be made. So we'll be able to even build that off even more. But um, yeah, it's gonna be insane. So let's get back into the actual head aft. Going up here. Yeah, temporary name, you forgot to like the stream. I'm disappointed in you, my friend, I'm disappointed. I thought she would do better. I'm just kidding. All right. So again, we're still only focusing on the aft. So this is, or not the aft, but the bow. And so we're just going through rooms like these. And they still, they didn't really have a lot of light over here. Um, like I said, these little plates here, they would have survived a little bit longer in Titanic sinking because they were protected by an actual plate, but not too much longer because they weren't completely waterproof. Um, yeah, there's the ocean, if you guys didn't see it. It's pretty cool, actually. Okay, we get a little forward here. They would have a little bit more of, like, microphones um, and power supply banks and all that stuff. It Titanic's truly a masterpiece, I'll say that. She truly is a masterpiece. But if we really were going to explore Titanic... We gotta get out of here because this is all for this section. 
But we have another section that we have to explore, which is the four peak, the four run part of the section. This is Titanic's bow and the best part of Titanic, in my opinion. Hey, welcome there, uh, Ancraft. Yeah, and it says I only have one person watching the stream. <laughs> welcome, Giovanni. I love how it's like, oh, one person's watching the stream. Um, we will carry on with the rest of Titanic on a different date. We are going to go upstairs and try to get out of here um, to a different section. I will show this at one other time, like a different time. By the way, this is the grand staircase. Wait, no, that's not this. This is the grand staircase. And yes, we can go up here now, but we don't care about this section because that's for a different day. Let's go outside on Titanic. Um, hi, Copper, hi, Gio, was just on Micah's live talking to people. Yeah. Definitely think, I don't think that view number is right. I don't know how much people were watching then. I just uh, based it off what, what we have here. Um, yeah, can't, can't accurately tell how much people are watching. But yeah, building Titanic. And Lego is going to be insane. Um, just to let you guys know again, this is, um, it's loading to the next scene. Um, this file is over 40 gigabytes, so it's a big file. Why is this stream on my recommendation? I recommend, yeah. Um, well, I don't know why. Um, maybe because if you like Titanic, well, then this is the place um, to be. Um, welcome there. Um, how do I pronounce your name? Is it uh, are you I believe something like that? All right Let's get over to Let me see if I how do I figure out to get over there? Hmm. Anyways, if you guys want to see well, maybe Here is the ocean We're sailing in the ocean guys pretty pretty sick. We couldn't do this last time this time we can no, um so, actually, I was technically wrong on that. Here's the squash court. Best room in Titanic, in my opinion. Um, just went there, actually. But basically, um, Titanic, the I need to get back on the, the um, Scotland Road because then we can go over to the bow section. And you guys will be able to um, see that section. But no, um, I'm glad that people are finding this channel. Um, again, what my intended goal for this channel is, and I hope you guys kind of will follow along in this and see where I'm heading off to in the future, but we are gonna be creating Titanic in Lego and not like Titanic's Lego set or the Lego set that Titanic's made. We are gonna be making an actual mini figure scale Titanic. And I am pumped up for this. I have prepared for this. I even have box of a couple boxes of Lego over there um, that I've already purchased and stuff. I have storage over here um, ready to prepare for that as well. Um, yeah, it's going to be a very insane build. I have Echo. Hydrate everyone. Make sure that water is your first thing that you do. It is important to do. Okay. We're back on Titanic here. Do I have echo? Like, what do you mean by that? Is the stream echoing? I would hope not, because I don't know any other way I can fix that. This is just insane. Titanic Honor and Glory has done it. Like, just, they just have done a very good job at this. We're making our way down to Scotland Road again. Trying to get down as fast as possible. Acting like Titanic is in some real just danger here. Sarcastically, we're not really in a lot of danger. Titanic is doing just fine. <laughs> Sailing across. Sound is just fine for me. Okay, just making sure. Thanks, Copper, about that. Um, yeah, so let's consider, again, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel liking this channel 
liking the live stream preferably um we're going deeper than ever into titanic um if you thought that that was deep we're going even deeper now um yeah and so and i will be going to brick world chicago this year too by the way guys so um any of you guys are interested make sure i'm going the right way um yeah prepare for that because i am bringing some stuff with me including the channel the, the channel and the titanic um it won't be done but i'll be starting on it hello hello how are you how are you i asked you first i asked you for wait what that's real mature saying exactly what i say i also know the room was empty so there would be an empty room oh was that a joke in craft like by the squash cord or like what do you mean by that <laughs> because i'm taking that as a joke right now <laughs> how many boats are we gonna have okay so i've mentioned this i believe last stream but i'll mention even more i'm gonna split titanic off in the 16 different sections or 20 one of the two i haven't really decided on exactly how i want to do it um so it would be several different compartments preferably 16 um, because Titanic, the I will have, it's going to be 32 to 36 base plates. So Titanic will be 32 base plates long. Oh, I was just quoting the Grinch. <laughs> oh. Maybe Ancraft is the Grinch. Have we ever thought of that? I'm just kidding. Um. So yeah, these are just like early rooms. Um, I definitely don't know if I want to sleep here, but those who want to can sleep there. I'm not sleeping there. Um, yeah, so this is more interior rooms down here. I can't go down here yet. Um, eventually we might be able to go. Um, dead end again. I always go to dead ends. I don't know why. And dead end there too. This would be going up to Titanic's deck. And that'd be more boarding things there, but we can go down here, which is insane down here too. There's a lot of rooms. I'm just fast pacing this part because there's not a, a lot of exciting parts here that I can access and show you guys. Um, other than me gonna get lost again, Zoner will get lost in this ship if I keep exploring this section. Um, yeah <laughs> beautiful yeah well if you amcraft i will show you a little bit later but titanic's most beautiful section i would say was the turkish bass and the pool section and all that i'll go through that part a little bit again later again um i keep repeating my word again but yeah i'll go through that again later on um they had a map here and so guys we ever watched the titanic movie this is where the titanic dance was done right here this is where the entire dance was here they're done the ss dewback it shall um it shall ship dewbacks around the world <laughs> that is so funny there temporary name hey hey copper what do you think about that um eight viewers again Thank you guys for coming in and watching my channel over some other content that you could be watching tonight. Consider subscribing to the channel and liking this, um, this stream because I'm going to be making the Titanic in real life. Um, a Lego Titanic will be made in real life and it will be mini figure scale. It is going to be huge. It is not going to be some small ship. It is going to be massive. So this is a stairwell down there. And right now I'm just showing you guys exactly all the rooms that are in Titanic that just kind of make Titanic Titanic pretty much be cool rooms. But again, this is where they'd be dancing in the movie uh, where Jack and Rose would be pretty much dancing. So if we carry this down here and we go, I believe, trying to figure out how to get over there. I know there's a way to get over there. There should be another stairwell. Man, guys, I'm having to think now.
That's okay. I can think. I think. Um. No, around here somewhere should be okay. Right here, I think. Well, there should be a way to do that. Okay, back. Let's go back to the main menu and we'll go into the next deck. Um, maybe. All right. So explore Titanic. This time we're going to be in the crew forward deck areas. So this is Titanic's cargo room area. This is Titanic's, um, the crew's kitchen kind of in a way. Um, and this would also host a bunch of other places in Titanic, the forward decks. So when Titanic was sinking, when people were trying to get out of the boiler rooms and out of the area that they were in, because it was flooding with water like fast. The beginning of Titanic was flooding fast. They needed to get out of there. So what they were doing is they were just going as fast as possible up Titanic and I will show you guys in a second the ladder that they used to get from the bottom of Titanic up to the bow as fast as possible. Um, here's a kitchen. So Titanic stoves, they haven't changed much. much. Um, basically they would use coal or wood. Uh, majority of it was just coal um, because they didn't want to use wood. There wasn't really a wood establishment. They had a bunch of coal on board so they thought that that'd be the best um, reason to use. So yep, you just pretty much um, load coal into here. You could cook things, as you can see right here, in the main section, and then you can boil your food on the top of the actual oven, just like you would do today. But instead of it being like actual furnaces and stuff, it was just like a direct heat um, section. So don't burn your hand on that. So this is like one of the crew's kitchens sort of thing. Pretty messy in here, um, but that's what makes Titanic even better, having messy areas. Um, this would carry down. I will go down this way soon, and this way to, whoa, this is even cooler. So guys, this is a fascinating part of Titanic. So if you were to go down there, or over here, this is how the crew would get up to the crow's nest. So if you needed to get to the actual um, crow's nest, basically, you would go up here. And I'll show you guys that in a second. As for more of Titanic, so you'd go down here, and this is a very big room with lots of gears and a lot of everything. So. This is the anchor. This would be where they would launch the anchor, which would go down very far. And it was very, very heavy. Please give Zoner a like if you have a, and haven't so far. Thank you so much there, Copper. Unfortunately, only it fits one do back, as it's only one fourth of a base plate big. Well, if it's a do back size, I think it's gonna need to be a little bit bigger than an actual do back or an actual fourth of a base plate. Do backs are a lot bigger. Nine people, where are they coming from? I don't know, temporary name. Um, well, see, or, well, you see. I don't know if you're hinting on leaving there, but um, if you are in craft, have a good one. I don't know if you are or not. Um, but yeah, this anchor is huge, and it was super heavy, as you cannot already tell. Um, and it involved all of these gears and machines and everything just to properly work a thing that was this big yeah it's insane and then you'd be able to go down here and this would be under it and you would store more um, storage and a bunch of other things and you'd be even able to go well I don't think you can here but um, yeah it would just continue to go down because in Titanic's day they were trying to maximize storage so the way to do that is every little bit in Titanic would be used to maximize. So below this deck, if you go all the way down, you're gonna run into a freshwater peak. So basically this was a freshwater section in Titanic. It would hold some water in there for fresh water. Titanic hits iceberg. The first th thing Titanic hits is the iceberg, of course, but that's the first compartment of Titanic. It doesn't sink. Um, it won't, it won't flood because 
it is leveled off by another thing. There's already water in that section because it holds fresh water. So it was a fresh water tank that got punctured but only filled up that entire thing. So throughout Titanic sinking, crew members would always, or they would keep hearing this like awkward sound of um, water and all this stuff, but it was that right there. It was water filled that entire section up, but it couldn't go any higher because it was a tank itself already. So I thought that was kind of a fascinating thing. So in real life, technically, when Titanic was sinking, the first compartment wasn't really, it didn't fill up because what filled up in Titanic's first compartment was already water. And so, yeah, didn't really have to do anything there. Yeah, this will probably be another hard part in Titanic because it involved a ton of machinery work, which is gonna be insane to do, as I mentioned with the engine room and all that stuff. Yeah, it's gonna be big. I'm gonna go check on Micah's stream. Okay. Um, have a good one. Excuse me, have a good one there, Ancraft. This is be um, where crew would eat. So they would just come down here and they would eat or they would sit down, sorry about that, and they would come and take a break. Um, I'm not gonna go down that because last time I did, I fell all the way down. Um, we'll go to that section in a second. Because why would you go down that when you can, sorry, take this down. Take the old fashioned ladder down. And so basically, you would take this down. So here's where I wanna explain here now. You take this ladder all the way down. And for this case, we'll take it all the way down and then I'll show you guys exactly what I wanna explain here. I love these staircases because they just, they're so cool. I don't know why. Cause you just go around and around and around. You're just running into a bunch of circles. Nothing wrong with that though. Oh, we gotta go down one more time. This is what I mean guys, it don't end. It just keeps going and going and going. Don't worry guys, I'm just trying to get you dizzy on stream before Micah stream. So guys, this right here is the first section that Titanic would flood. When water hit into Titanic, this section right here was one of the first sections to flood. Um, plain and simple. Behind this door was boiler room number six, um, which would also get water in there too, it would be flooding. So what they would do is because this door was open, they would run through this door, they would run, and I mean they would run. And they were getting out of here as fast as possible. They shut those things down and they were running. And then once they got all the way over here, they would be running up these stairs because there's water. This water is 28 degrees. You don't want to be in 28 degree water. It's cold. They were running up these stairs and they were still running and running and running. And then they got up to here. So down here is the cargo hold area and while it's great and it holds a lot of cargo this would be the next room that would sink in titanic so basically crew members would run up this ladder here the stairs and they would think that okay water is never going to get this far because water has never got this far and titanic was designed to hold down water so that it wouldn't get past this deck and they never thought it would get never thought it was going to get this pass past this deck Hey, Lego Zoner, before you end the stream, let me post a link to Micah's stream. Yep. Um, I'm going to carry on just a little bit farther than that. We're going to go into a little bit into Micah's stream. Um, but for everyone being here right now is just a fantastic thing. Thank you all for being here. Um, again, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing to this channel and liking the stream. Uh-oh, the camera went off. Temporary difficulties here, guys. Don't worry, I still have the mic. Um, guys, don't really need my face in a way. My face isn't as beautiful. You just need the voice. Anyway, I'm still here, everyone. Um, just without a face. So, basically, this 
was the staircase that everyone or the the room that everyone would seek shelter kind of in while down here because all they had to do was come down here and they would see water all the way at the end of the staircase just flooding and flooding and it was just filling up with so much water that they just couldn't keep it from actually not flooding so um they had nothing to do there there was nothing that they could do nothing to prevent um what was happening there they tried to help titanic out by doing certain things but there was nothing that they could really do in order to prevent it from sinking like that sorry guys my phone died so i'm trying to get my phone back on the charger as quick as possible so we can resume this stream even better um i also like the fancy um poles that they would bring these would um, kind of make it feel more safe when you're going down a steel ladder instead of a wooden ladder because wood doesn't um, rot. It is more safe than iron and steel. So that's what they would do to provide a better alternative when Titanic was sinking when it would hit with the water. Because it was so hot down there though, that cold water kind of felt good. For all the crew members though because it was 120 degrees down in the boiler rooms and so the fact that they could come up here and by the way guys when they took their breaks and they had a nap time they would be it'd be four hours on and eight hours off um so that every day they would be getting anywhere between eight to ten hours of work time so they'd be working up to ten hours um welcome there ben Nice to see you here. How do you plan to make those thin rails? Um, so basically, um, what I'm gonna do guys is I wanna take a um, one of those plex kind of tubing things and we're going to bring it up Titanic. And it's gonna be, it's hard to explain right now, especially since I don't have a phone or a camera right now. Um, but basically it'd be a long thin um, tube that would be going up Titanic or I would use cylinder pieces to kind of frame that out but I don't think I'll use that because I want it to be straight and long all right so we'll go back up here quick because this is where I want to address some more things like I said earlier people the crew members preferably slept in this area so they weren't far from Titanic's water in fact this was where they ate and then over here is where they slept. Then there's beds here, and there's beds here, and there's more beds here. So yes, yeah, so this is where they slept. This is where all their clothes and stuff went. They would have separate showers from everywhere else in the room because you didn't want to be even close to any of the passengers because, well, you know, you were very dirty when you were working down there. Could you use a straight long whip piece to do the railings? I probably could do that too. Um, I just thought of that one there. Thanks Copper for that one. Um, yeah, this piping stuff is gonna be very difficult because I don't wanna use cylinders. I want it to be straight and look like Titanic exactly. Um, so if I were to do like cylinder pieces, it wouldn't look right. Um, but yeah, again, this is where Titanic's people or crew members preferably would sleep. Um, yeah, and it would provide a bunch of things. But again, when you were looking down and seeing water coming up this, you would be scared. I would be scared. Um, seeing that water has gotten that far up. So the fact that you were a crew member, and because one of the best things about Titanic was its layout, in my opinion because third class was still higher than this. So that means when Titanic was sinking, the first people that know that Titanic was sinking were the crew. And that's the best part. If you were sinking, you don't want the people to know that you're sinking. You want the crew because the crew will be able to try to prevent the actual um, ship from sinking. And also the crew aren't gonna be as frightened. 
because when you have people scrambling around, when there's 700, um, 700 crew member and over 1,200 um, passengers, you have way more passengers, which means you're gonna get a lot of people that are gonna be scared and frightened. So if you told them, hey, we're sinking, you're gonna be like, uh, we're sinking. It's basically, okay, if I were to tell one of you guys in the stream, hey, the ship's sinking, but you'll be fine. <laughs> no, you're not, because the crew members down here got to see the water. They know how bad the situation was. So, yeah, this is why the crew members should know the Titanic was sinking sooner, because their sh their, like the ship itself was dead center where Titanic was sinking. And it took two hours and 40 minutes for this thing to sh sink. And that's incredible, because this ship is huge. And I think I've already shown that enough, like showing it how big this ship is actually. Um, because now we're on another floor higher and you can already see how high we're up. Um, yep, I'm gonna be overlapping. Um, so again, I expect, you know, if you guys wanna go watch Mike and Ike, um, consider go watching Mike and Ike. He has a website released. Otherwise, I'm gonna be carrying on the stream just a little bit longer. Um, but then we will um, go from there. So yeah, just to let you know, that'll basically be what will be happening. This is more crew room people, so people would sleep in here as well. Um, guys, the beds are definitely not this clean because the crew members were very dirty because they were down in the boiler rooms. Or shall I say like the boiler room people were very dirty. And they didn't get to have a shower every single time either because they were off for four or eight hours um, and they would have to go back to work. And so they have the constantly, um, they'd be sleeping majority of the time because they would be lifting heavy things of shovels. Um, good question. I probably will release the website eventually. Um, my website will be more dedicated towards, um, what's it called? It would be more dedicated towards Titanic and ships because going forward, we, we are going to be making super large ocean liners out of Lego. So um, yes, actually that was a very good question. Um, and then I will also be able to give you guys actual um, instructions to build your own section of Titanic if you wanted to. So if you wanted to build a room in Titanic that you thought was cool, um, yeah, go for it. Maybe like a section where Jack and Rose were dancing up on the deck, which I just showed you, or the bridge, or the wireless room. Um, and I would also probably be making a Discord server as well soon. Thanks for saying that uh, to this uh, temporary name. Um, it'll be actually a lot sooner than later. So be, look, be on the lookout for that. Um, I also have a video that I'm still in the process of making. Um, it's the first Titanic video, if I can get up the stairs. Um, yeah, this ship is amazing. They did a really good job of making this ship. Um, I love it. Going up this stairwell, again, this is only dedicated to crew members. So the only people that could be over on this side of the ship are crew members. It's not like you're gonna have a passenger walking through and being like, oh, I see an anchor. No, that definitely is not a section you want to be in. So t they, they would have these places locked off. And as you can see, this is like a, like a jail cell door kind of thing. And they would use that to protect from people going into those sections that they aren't supposed to be in. This is the cargo hatch. So this would be the cargo you guys just, shot, just saw all the way down there. This is the actual cargo hatch. I could technically drop all the way down there. I'm not gonna do it because that's a long drop. But they would open this up and then cranes, Titanic's cranes, I don't know if they'll let me go up that or not. Um, I don't think that ladder will. But they would have Titanic's cranes would lift cargo into these, which would be um, a huge help for Titanic later on. And then we have more of those staircases and more of those. We'll go on deck in a second. Again, we're exploring just Titanic's early stages of the actual ship because 
we will be making this part first. So I want you guys to understand what part of the ship I'm making and kind of get yourself familiar with it. Be another ladder down this way too, which played a vital role in Titanic. Um, more storage would be down here. Can't go in any of these. And this would be third class. So third class were over here in, this, in these places, but not as much. Um, majority of the third class were in the front of the ship, up closer here. So if I were to open this door, you guys would see another deck here. Um, this is another kitchen part too, because um, if I were to go over here, I believe there's another, wait, no, there's not another kitchen over here. So that was just an extended part of the kitchen. Um, and this will be the deck. Um, Titanic's largest part of the the ship. This is probably like a very, very big and very important part of Titanic. Without the um, the deck, the deck itself holds the cranes and all of that. So when Titanic was sinking, it was a scare for the passengers, knowing that water was coming on the deck. Because when they saw the ice on the deck, that was just like, oh, we hit an iceberg. We're fine. It, it, we're not gonna sink. And then knowing that water got all the way up the, the, the actual deck, once it got to that point, Titanic sunk even fat. It was sinking even faster, and they just couldn't do anything. Um, obviously, the issue with this part actually is um, Titanic won't let me, well, Titanic Honor and Glory won't let me go over here onto this deck. I don't know why, but they won't. So we can't visit that, but what I could do and actually, I will try doing that. Where is it? Is there is a section in Titanic that I can actually go up in a second, and I'll show you guys. Yeah, guys, consider liking this stream if you haven't. There's 10 people watching. We could get another like. That'd be great. Um, or consider subscribing to the channel. We are going to be building a Titanic that is in Lego, a fully built Titanic in Lego that is going to be full minifigure scale. So it is gonna be massive. Um, it's gonna be broke down into major steps, so it's not gonna be super hard to um, kind of display at one time. Yeah, and anywhere around here, I believe it's down one of these stairs, I should be able to, one of these has the area where I can go and show you guys another part of Titanic that's super cool. Right here, there it is. Maybe, if I can get through this deck. Oh! <laughs> See, they don't let me now, but earlier they let me. That makes a lot of sense, guys. I could go through... Oh, wait, there we go. Alright, let's go up to the crow's nest. This is where they spot the iceberg. Um, yeah, this part is insane. So, this is what you would see on Titanic. You would have full range. You could see everything on Titanic. This is a cool spot. Imagine being up here. The only difficulty about this is you're going to be slammed with a lot of wind because you're, you're a lot higher on Titanic and it's going to be a lot heavier. And I also want to let you guys know that this actual uh, pole, this um, ginormous mast, is not made out of wood. This one's um, iron or steel if you want to say it. There's also the phone so when they radio or not radio but when they um, call the front the bridge letting them know there's an iceberg dead ahead they rang the bell they picked up the phone and they were like icebergs right ahead. Um, they would also have binoculars up here but they didn't have that that night because they were locked away. Um, but yeah, you can see everything on here. This is different from any other Titanic game because they don't allow you to see this much. I guess the main weakness is you can't see anything unless you stick your actual head over the entire thing um, to see what's below you. But you really don't need to. All you need to know is what's ahead of you because if they were watching back this way, what's the sense? You ain't, you're gonna hit, are you gonna hit an iceberg from the, the end, the stern? No, so. Yeah, this is a very important part of Titanic, especially the early stages, because this is where they would spot the iceberg. And I don't exactly know what this pole here was for. Um, 
and there's one on three sides. So I don't know exactly what those are for. I'll have to look more into that. But um, yeah, that's that. Um, it's pretty big. And again, it's made out of all steel. It's not wood like you guys think it is, or like we thought it was for a long time, because that's usually how it is. Again, I can't go down here. Oh wait, I can. So this would be the third class passenger area. And I actually, no, we just went in here. I want to see where we came out of here because um, I was trying to get in here the other way and I guess I couldn't earlier in the stream. So the Queen of the North, a ship which um, shipped immigrants to Ellis Island during the 19th century, a suggestion for a ship to be built. Um, yeah, thank you, temporary, temporary name. I thought that'd be kind of a cool ship to make too. Um, we're going to start off with Titanic and then um, I'm thinking of Celtic. So if you guys don't know what the Celtic is, it is Titanic's, it is the largest White Star Line um, ship before Titanic. Um, they were huge, but they weren't as big as Titanic. And they also were like half the size, well, it was half the weight. It wasn't as heavy, but it was still very long. Those ships were very long. Um, but yeah, again, this is where Jack and Rose would be uh, dancing and everyone else in the third class that you would be seeing. Um, yeah, that would be the movie, of course. Man, that let me jump down that. Wasn't expecting that. This is more cargo space. They would be bringing this stuff down. Um, again, I already showed this bedroom here. I don't know why they... I think this is more of a crew-dedicated bedroom um, because passengers... This is third class, this isn't fancy rooms. There's nothing fancy over here. That's what I want you guys to understand. This is more of the ugly part of the ship. Um, because third class was already given special treatment anywhere else in the ship. This was special treatment to them when they were coming to America. This wasn't um, something fancy and you know great. I mean, to them it was fancy, but in real life it wasn't really the most fanciest stuff. It was great. But it wasn't the fanciest. Um, and yeah, you would get more cabins down here. In fact, you'd even get more down here, but they don't let me go any farther down. Um, maybe when they get 70% or 75% of the Titanic done, we can explore those. But in the fortunate, I can't do that yet. And like I said, Titanic's a maze. I could get lost in this so fast. Um, but I believe it was you or Ancraft, or uh, temporary name, I believe it was you or Ancraft. You both weren't here in the beginning. I can show you guys quickly. If you guys haven't, since you guys already haven't seen it. I'll show you guys. Which one is it? Nope, that's not that one. Titanic's pool and Turkish bath. Click. Because we are on that section anyway. And then, um, yeah, we'll kind of go from there. Because that's a very important part of Titanic. And a very large part of Titanic, too. Um. But yeah, I couldn't be more grateful to have this amount of people watching the stream and just dedicated towards this um, channel because this is going to be one massive Titanic that we're going to be building. All right, in one second. Again, the reason why it takes so long for this to translate or to go over to the next scene is because this file is super big and so there's so much Titanic in this. And I mean a lot of Titanic. And then we would technically go from there and we'd move over to um, class, first class passenger room areas in Titanic that would continue to go on throughout the ship. And go from there pretty much. And it looks like my camera does not want to work today. <laughs> looks like it died on me and just does not want to work uh, from there. So I don't know exactly what's going on there. Other than it just doesn't want to cooperate with me. That could be always a thing. All right. So this is the section for that. And I would go down here. Let's enter it. Turkish baths. 
where we started to stream off. It is one of the most gorgeous and most beautiful, luxurious parts in Titanic that still holds most, if not all, of its value. This is also very well preserved in Titanic right now. Um, the tile work and the... Um, I think that's bronze that they used for the ceiling to kind of connect the wood is still in very good shape in Titanic today. Um, that's why this is like a very cool Titanic area. This would be changing rooms, you would change there. Um, yeah, this is a very luxurious room. Yeah, I love this. And it will tell you how hot it is in here too. Um, and I'm surprised that they put it in Fahrenheit because it wasn't really supposed to be in Fahrenheit. This is the, um, it's like a machine to wash away kind of thing. I don't know. It's it's a very strange room. Ooh, I can't even walk here today. This room is probably one of the strangest rooms. I don't even know if, <laughs> yeah. I definitely just don't want to be in that machine. I feel like I'd probably die in that machine. If I were to get into it so I'd probably just stay away from that um, this is where you would um, change take a shower for the um, uh oh okay for the pool which I'll show you in a second this is exactly what you would do there and there would be a bunch of like towels and stuff you can rent like hang here and then you could turn the water on and you would get it almost like today it's just you're surrounded by a bunch of metal which I never really understood why um, don't really have a purpose in why that's there um, here is the extended kind of version of the Turkish baths this isn't I mentioned it was a little bit more fancier than the other one because um, I personally think that this is it's more in depth there is a extended rooms in each of these compared to the Turkish bath over there. Um, I don't know why they just didn't connect these all together, but from what we have right here, it's not really, not really that bad actually for what we have here. Um, but yeah, that's fine. Now, again, here's the pool. Um, extended uh, storage from here on both sides. And then you'd go into the pool, which is insane. Um, but guys, think of this pool and think of it in Lego because this is what we're doing it for. We are going to be building this in Lego. So the fact that you stand from this corner and just see the entire room, it's just going to be insane to see it in actual Lego. Um, and yes, you can go in the pool if you want. Um, it was a heated pool. They, did, they were able to heat this pool up. And it also was able to go up to six feet as you can see here um, I believe majority of the time it was four feet but they were able to get it up to six feet if they really needed or really wanted to um, the men would get more hours only because there was more guys on the ship than there was ladies um, and when you have more guys you only can fit so many people in the pool and yeah, so this was a luxurious place in Titanic. It was one of the only um, ships to actually have a pool of her time. Um, her sister ship Olympic did have the same thing too. In fact, when it came to war for Olympic, they would just put this as a storage room because um, Olympic was transferred over to a troop carrier thing, so they didn't have a pool on a ship that was used for war, uh, obviously, for many things. Here's a mirror and a kind of like a small desk. You would be able to put your stuff back on here and lock your stuff away in there. They would have more showers here as well. Um, just close the curtain off and it's the same showers as in there. Um, I believe you use these showers for the pool and then you use the other ones for the Turkish baths. But I'm, I'm almost certain that you're able to use both of them if you really wanted to because this door right here, it wasn't closed until the sinking. And when I believe, and when they did have it closed, it was when the the pool and all that stuff was already closed, because Titanic didn't have a lifeguard on duty or anything like that. Um, it was pretty much okay. Family goes to the pool. If someone drowns or something like that, that's on them. 
because Titanic wasn't big enough to have a lifeguard on duty anyway. Um, as much as their actual ship was used really well. Um, but yeah, Titanic didn't have an actual lifeguard. That'd be kind of insane if they did. Here's the linen storage area. Um, you could obviously fit a lot of stuff in here, as you can see in this section right here, because this is just insane. Um, and it would just continue to go on and wouldn't stop. Um, even if you go in, that's a lot of room for what that's like for what's there. Um, there's a bunch of bags in each of these, and the shelving is pretty big as well. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of bags of shelving, and it just doesn't stop. And then you go all the way to this section, you'd see a bag here and a basket, and you'd be introduced to what's up here. And this would be Scotland Road. So you, you would technically, I guess I could have came through that way too. And then you would also have a, a ship map here as well. So that would help out a lot. Um, I don't know really why they called it the Linton storage area because in reality, it wasn't really, I don't know. That'd be something that you'd have to kind of like look into a little bit more. Um, I don't know the exact backstory on that. It was more of a ship that wasn't really, I mean, it was an interesting spot for that. Um, now we're back on the Scotland Road for that. Now we're just waiting for it to reload back up again for this part. we go and this would be more crew and this would be the cruise bathrooms as well um, and it's weird because this is what toilets looked like back in the day very old um, definitely not what you would use today because it's it's the early stages um, I believe it's the toilet paper and all that stuff that you'd use and then back here would be more extra storage and um, kind of extra things that would carry on throughout the thing the ship and look how much sinks that the Titanic had it is insane to see the exact number of sinks that are in this section here and then it, there was even more over here there was what um, and then you would have What's it called? With the um, urinal section part, and then you'd have more sink wash. I don't even know why they had this much sinks, because it made no sense to have this much sinks. <laughs> I mean, even though this was a public bathroom, because for third class and um, everyone else like that, um, public bathrooms were the biggest things. None of the ships had their own restrooms or anything like that, um, which would be a big thing in Titanic, because they it just they didn't exist so yeah lots and lots of sinks and toilets and just a bunch of things obviously this is the guys one um, there was no lady crew members for working coal bunkers and stuff because at that time it was not considered for you to be in there um, yeah these doors pretty much would go to the boiler rooms this one up here would be to the grand staircase. Here's more of that. Um, oh, they don't be in this one. So that one's not a thing. There was more bathrooms there. Um, these would be more like special rooms here along with that. And then I don't think they would, but they might. Yeah, and so back here there's like nothing. They don't let me come in here. Cause they don't like me here this is the engineer promenade so this is like the the top deck part um, 
which I'll go into more in a later video or a later live stream on this because it's not really something I really want to discuss in today's stream. Um, but if you guys are interested in my channel, I do Titanic content. I do, or I'm going to be doing more Titanic content and more ship content. Um, and we are going to be building the largest Lego ship. And it's going to be um, Titanic first and then many ships later on. So consider subscribing to the channel and liking the live stream for more content on that. It's going to be minifigure scale too, which is just going to be incredible to see in real life. So make sure that if you guys are interested in that, that you guys just check that out. Um, here's that promenade here. This is where the engine room people would be able to come and just like sit down and relax. Or not really sit, but like take a break or breath because it was just so bad down there. Um, forgot which section that should be able to go. Oh yeah, it's right over here. And then I should be able to go back down the Scott River over right here. And this is really cool. You get Titanic's menu for third class, um, which is insane. This is really cool. Um, makes me want to eat a Titanic meal right now, actually, um, because it was really good. All right, so that was that. This would be a staircase to the F deck, which I find weird that they put one there, along with the storekeepers and all that. This would be engine, um, like workers and mechanics and music, um, adjacent, uh, um, for music and all that. It was just a bunch of stuff that they randomly put right there. So, yeah. These pipes were run through the entire Titanic is, it, it, it goes for a long time. I'll tell you that. You'd have this cable wire that would also run. Um, through the entire side. Technically, if you left the water on on the other side of the ship, um, when Titanic was sinking, it'd be fine. Like if you left the water on over this side and it was underwater, it'd still be working because these pipes wouldn't have salt water in until Titanic split. So that's an odd but cool thing. Um, this is like another hallway that would lead down that way um, and just continue on. And then over here was where people boarded. Um, yeah, so definitely guys, consider checking out this. The, the link to this file is in the description and Titanic Honor and Glory were the ones who designed it. Their entire team did. Um, Ocean Liner Designs talks more about um, inside the ship and just more about it. They also have a live stream going on um, tomorrow um, on the ship as well. But yeah, this ship is insane. It carries on um, its lifetime. Titanic will never, I don't ever see it ever not becoming a thing anymore. It is the most luxurious ship of 1912 and it still is talked about the most today, which I didn't think that if it wasn't for its sinking, Titanic wouldn't be talked about. No one would talk about Titanic because on its first main voyage, it hits an iceberg and then sinks to the bottom of the ocean. No one ever thought that would become a thing. And I can't believe they don't have anything up there away. I mean, make stairs. Does that make a lot of sense? Not really. Um, yeah. So, again... We'll end the stream here. Again, um, consider liking the live stream and subscribing to the channel once again. Um, uh, have a video coming soon, and we'll go from there. Um, again, I very appreciate that you guys joined, and we will um, do another version of this uh, stream similar to this, but we'll do for a different section of Titanic um, because... This is what we're building first of Titanic when we build it. So, thank you all um, for watching. For those who um, tuned into the stream, it was very appreciated. You guys have a wonderful rest of your evening. Oh, and hi, Jar Jar. Oh, you mentioned me in a video. Oh, wasn't expecting you. You came right almost to my ending of the live stream. Um, which video was that there, uh, Jar Jar? I'd be interested in figuring out that. You caught me right at the ending of my like actual live stream. 
Um, Jar Jar, are you going to respond back on which video that was? You're just going to leave it right there. I'm actually really interested now. I'll have to go check that video out. Oh, you put it in self promotion. Oh. Oh, interesting. It has droids. Now you got my attention. Um, yeah, obviously, when a ship has droids, or when, a, when you have droids in it, then I'm definitely interested. Um. There you go, there's Titanic. There's its entire forward section of the ship. It is massive and yeah, it is insane. So yeah, we're gonna do a stream right now. So if you guys, whoever is in here still in this actual, um, in the actual stream, we're gonna go stream raid Mike and Ike Productions or well, I call it Micah Knight Productions because that was in the back of, in the good old days. But Micah is still streaming, I believe, Micah Knight. He is launching his website out um, in a half an hour as well. So if you guys don't know who he is, make sure you guys go check it out. I will put the link and I'll get the link out in just one second. And we will go stream raid him. Because who doesn't want to stream raid? One second. Copy link. We'll put the link in the description. So that is his YouTube. Um, that's his stream right now. I will end this stream and we will go and basically stream rate his channel. Just um, type stream rate in the chat. Um, again, those who are all joining, thanks again for tuning in. Um, consider subscribing to the channel and liking. Um, this live stream um, consider also just watching it back over again and seeing what I um, explored and all that um, because there's a lot of cool things in this um, that you can find out so with that again y'all have a wonderful rest of your um, day and we'll end the stream and go stream raid Micah Nike all right have a good one you guys